Okay, welcome back to another class. So today, I'm going to give you guys a little assignment to start off with. We're going to be uh, creating a, or I'm going to assign you to create a slot machine. And the slot machine is going to look like, in terms of the GUI interface, I'd like it to be a rectangle, obviously, window. And in that window, you're, let's say that the window is going to be, uh, let's say, 600 wide by 400 high. And you're going to have, um, or, or maybe you might want to change these to have correct aspect ratios, but some, somewhere around there. Um, but you're going to have one, two, three. Now this, this I kind of did uh, too thick on this side. So how about I start again? Um, So let's let's have a like that, and then one, two, three, and so this is going to have an image here. I think I've I think I've made this thing too tall and not wide enough. But um, maybe perhaps if I made it uh, different dimensions. But let's just say we go with 600 across the top, and then this one you might have to change this dimension. But essentially, you're going to have one image here. You're going to have one image here, and you're going to have let's say uh, one image there. Now, this, on the other hand, is going to be your, uh, but this, this one here on the right-hand side is going to be your button that says pull. So in the window, there's not going to be any empty space. You're going to have one, two, three, and they don't need to be buttons. Why not make them FL boxes? Actually, it's like that. Make them FL boxes. And then this guy here has to be an FL button, because you're going to click this guy. And when you click this guy, the, these images are going to change at random. I'd like you to have in a kind of like a, a, a list database if you, if you like. I want you to load seven images. And here are some of them that I have simply Googled for on the internet. You can just Google for a slot machine 7 PNG. And um, if, if you want to use JPEGs, use JPEGs. But I would say uh, stay consistent, OK? And let's say some of the other ones would be um, the bar. I don't know what this symbol means, but it's on many slot machines. Um, and then another one might be uh, the cherry. And now, with the way to the way to download these images is simply once you find one and you click on one. And and listen, if if you're going to make one of them transparent, then at least find all of them transparent. And if you're going to have some of them that are solid backgrounds, maybe find them that are all, just to have a consistent look and feel. But if you right click on uh, the image and then you go Save Image As, you can, you can save it locally. And um, so anyways, then after getting those seven uh, slot machine images, I'd like you to. Uh, when you run the program, 
I want it to display the seven, like pick a random one out of those seven and display it here. Pick a random one out of the seven and display it here and pick a random one out of the seven and display it here. What, and that happens when you click on the, on the pull button on the very right hand side. So usually the slot machines, uh, the one arm bandits, the pull, the pull uh, lever is on the right hand side. And so now the other thing is, um, you know, what happens if they all match? And that's, that's going to be obviously uh, by luck. It's going to be at random. And if, you, if they are, then we're going to have to send them uh, a message saying that they have won. And the way that this is done is with FL message. So if I come here to the documentation and I, uh, I think I can, here, I can open up my documentation uh, here and you can actually use this. So if you go to modules and you go common dialogues, classes, and functions, and there is one here called FL message right there. Okay? And essentially, this is just, and notice it's lowercase, and, uh, and remember, uh, const char star is a string. Okay? So if you type in it, FL message, like maybe I can actually demonstrate it for you. Watch this. I'll even demonstrate it for you even without even running a program. If I just go Python, if I go, uh, wait, IPython3, and then I go uh, from FLTK import star, and then I go FL underscore message, and then I say, uh, you win. And now if I run this, I get a, I get a pop-up box uh, that, says, that says you win. And so essentially that's the, that's the notification um, to the person that they have won. Okay? So uh, good luck and uh, give it a shot. I'll pause the video now. Okay, so here is my solution to this, and I've put in some features that I'd like to teach you how to do. First of all, let me run this for you, and I want you to see what it looks like. So over here on the right-hand side is a button, and, it's, it, and it has a tool tip so that when I hover my mouse over it, it, sh it says a message to me, hit enter to play again. And so I'll hit enter, and now the images show up. And notice, I'm actually not, I'm not using my mouse. I'm actually just hitting the enter key again and again. And the images are changing. And finally, yay, I win. I got three lemons. So this is something I actually decided to change I, I discovered that having seven images was uh, so many that I was have basically be, it was impossible almost for me to win, so I was getting impatient. And so I changed it to six images instead of seven. And now I can win once in a while, which is kind of fun. I like winning. Um, and so this is my program, essentially. I do have a, yay, I won again. Ooh, I'm getting lucky. So um, how did I do this? Well, let me show you. 
So the first thing I do is I, I go in and I create my images. So if I show you uh, my images, this is the, these are the files that I have here. Apple, Bell, Cherry, Grapes, Lemon, Seven, Slot Machine, which is my program, and Watermelon. Okay, so those are the only files I have in my directory. And there they are. I've placed all of them in there. One, two, three, four, five, six images. And they're all strings. And now what I do is I say um, I equals empty list for name in file names or F names, I dot append um, FLPNG image name and then I dot copy it. Now um, this maybe is not the best thing to do here. Um, I think perhaps I should have done this differently because if you'll notice um, I'm actually making them 100 high and that's not what I wanted to do so maybe I'll fix that because I've made the I've made the um, the window 650 by 350. Uh, maybe I'll change this to 300. And so this is the window size. Now, why did I make it 650? Because I decided the images to, should take up 600 pixels, and my pull button should take up 50. That means each image takes up. 200 pixels wide. Okay, and now I think I'm going to change this to 300. And the reason why I say that is remember, this is width and height. Width, it's always width and height. So therefore, that means 600 divided by 3 is 200. And so that's right. Each image now should be 300 pixels high and 200 pixels wide. Right? Because 3 times 2 is 6, plus 50 for my button. Then I create an empty list on line uh, 20. And then on line 21, I. Okay, so then I create my uh, on line 22 here I create my uh, window and then or actually no I create my window here and then I, I start I go begin here and then notice the first thing I put in there is a is something called a pack let's go take a look at what a pack is okay so a pack is this widget is designed to add functionality uh, of com compressing and aligning widgets. So this really makes it easy for me because I don't have to worry about where my widgets are, are located. It'll simply pack the widgets into the container that they're going into. So notice, I'm going to make the pack the same size as my window. So it starts at the top left hand corner of my window and then I say the width is the width of the window and the height is the height of the window. Then I start adding things to my pack because a pack, notice a pack is actually derived from group. So it's the same, it has the same parent as window. Notice window, FL window also has the same parent which is FL group same as pack so if I now go back to my code and I can essentially what I'm the reason I explain that is because I can call dot begin on a pack now I'm adding things to my pack I'm gonna add three buttons so I go into a loop into th times three and I append an FL box but here's the crazy part look 
I'm not specifying the location and I'm not specifying the height. I'm only specifying the width. That's it. Just the width. And that's for every box that I'm adding to this pack. Then I say, listen, I want it to be, I want this box to have a shadow. So if you're wondering how I figured that one out, um, here under common widgets and attributes, there's box types. And I picked uh, FL shadow box, this one. Okay? And then, uh, oops, let's go back to my code. I actually set the color, the background color, to 207. And if you're wondering about that, uh, I just came to here under drawing things in FLTK under the main. And then I, I scroll down to uh, this graphic here for under colors. And I just picked this last one here, 207 is like that color right there. So now, that's, that's how I picked that number, that color. And by the way, for those of you that are kind of rusty on Python, negative one index in this list simply means that. And then, I, um, after setting the color, I actually set the pull button to a return button type. And, and that will automatically uh, do the callback for this return button uh, when I hit enter, okay? And the callback for that button, which is called pull, is set here. By the way, I'm also setting the group, sorry, the pack type to FL horizontal. Okay, so you can set it to FL horizontal or FL vertical, but in this case, I'm packing things in horizontally. And then I actually change my scheme to plastic as well. You can have different schemes like Gleam and GTK Plus, and um, plastic's one of them. So now when I run this, okay, so if I scroll down, that's the, that's the bottom. So my, my whole program took less than 40 lines. But now you can see that looks a bit better. Now at least the images are taking up the full size of uh, the box. And I'm not clicking anything. I'm just hitting enter, although I could click it. And if I do, it plays just fine. So in the, in the callback, the last thing is Notice I'm not checking if the image if the images are the same, but rather I'm checking if the indices of the images are the same. Okay? And the way I'm doing that is I'm actually kind of doing a little almost like cheating here on line 11. I'm changing shown into a set. And if the length of that is equal to 1, that means they're all the same. Okay, if they're all different, then the length is of a set is going to be three, and if two of them are the same, then the length is going to be two. Only if all of them are the same will the set of those integers, the length of that, be equal to one. So, um, hope you enjoyed this uh, solution, and we'll see you next time.